Today, scientists say no treatment holds greater promise than stem cells, which have the unique ability to develop into many different cell types. However, embryonic stem cells are controversial. Critics claim that an embryo is a person, therefore destroying an embryo to get its stem cells is murder. Is this a fair statement? Do the ends justify the means? And when exactly does life start anyway? I say, at 42. Do you support stem cell research? It depends on what kind. Do you consider an embryo to be a person? What is an embryo? What if we just got stem cells from the ugly babies? <laughs> oh, please, please. A lot of the stem cells um, that exist currently are, are ones in lines that would never become a baby anyway. But metaphorically, metaphorically, you know, they're in the womb. I suppose if a child... <laughs> I just wish perhaps our government was a little more open to exploring uh, the, um, the benefits of the many rather than a philosophy of the few. We could elect a clone of Bush in 2008. That would be so not awesome. Are you concerned about cloning? Yes, yes. Uh, it's amazing how when polled, most people would like a clone, but almost nobody would like to be the clone. No one wants to be harvested. Harvested? What a dilemma. Here I was, all ready to donate some stem cells, but what do these scientists really want them for? Bill Beckman is the executive director of the Illinois Right to Life Committee, which defends life from fertilization to natural death. Embryonic stem cells, I mean, to, to be able to use them requires killing the embryo. So the problem we have is, is that embryonic stem cells requires killing human beings. We could ask the embryo, hey, you know, move your vesicle if it's okay if we sacrifice you. So we can't, we, I mean, we can't successfully communicate with the stem cell, you know. Yeah. The, but there are reasonable alternatives from various injuries to, to diseases to, to heart uh, problems that all, have already been treated successfully in various degrees with other sources of stem cells, muscle tissue, heart tissue, umbilical cord blood. Yeah, but I mean, if I get Parkinson's disease, I don't want somebody pouring umbilical cord blood on me. That's not, that's not how you do it. That's good news. Plus, even if we could successfully communicate with an embryo, we all know what it would say. Yeah, baby, it gets lonely here in the Petri dish, so sometimes we gotta get down. Ah, uh, I wanna grow up, cause I'm a stem cells kid. Don't you kill me, liberals, you know you'd regret it if you did. Yeah, I might not have a heart. Well, that don't mean you can tear me apart. Why would you trust a scientist when it's the politicians that know when life starts? Incredible. So where exactly does science stand? Brenda Russell is a professor of physiology and biophysics. Little children, if they scratch themselves, they, they heal very quickly. The embryo is even better at doing that. We would like to know those secrets of repair. But if I got stem cells from a really tan guy, my body would reject them. That's biologically false. There are 72 cures that came from adult stem cells, but none so far from embryonic stem cells. Human embryonic stem cells have been banned, so the fact that there are zero cures is uh, one of those self-fulfilling hypotheses. Well, if you, would, if you would get some cures, However, then maybe you could get some funding. Yes, and if you can't do the research, you can't go that route. Killing embryos should not be funded by tax dollars because people have moral problems with that. So people should pay taxes for education, uh, health insurance, war, not for the destruction of life. Right. What is the worst case scenario? if we give scientists all the funding in the world. We'd have human cloning going on, we'd be killing all these embryos, the next Saddam Hussein will say, gee, I want cloned soldiers. We talked to a guy from a Right to Life organization, this guy, Bill Buckman. Have you heard of him before? No. No? You never dated or anything? Once you have a human being, the only thing that can stop it from turning into a human being fully grown is intervention that effectively is adverse to its, its, its own human rights. I think people are entitled to their own point of view, but I also don't think they should deny the cure 
to people who view life and the world and theology differently. And maybe you could check eBay. Maybe they'd have some stem cells up there. <laughs> they probably do. <laughs>I was wondering like where the soul would be at in the diagram. If it would be like wrapped in the spindle fibers. Well, the soul fibers. is a spiritual, a spiritual thing, you know. So therefore, mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't exist in the physical matter.